for solving a problem using a proportion. We're going to look at this problem. A recipe for cold fruit soup uses four cups of juice. So we have four parts to eight cups of water. Okay, so these, and together we have a total of 12 cups. So Nikita wants to make six cups of juice. How much water should you use? She, Nikita wants to use six cups of juice. How much water should you, she use? Write the ratio of juice to water in the original recipe. So the juice to water is going to be four to eight. Okay, the ratio of juice to water in Nikita's batch of soup will be is going to be six. So she's using she wants to use six, and we want to find out the unknown part. So we have here four to blank. In this case, we have our four to eight. Okay, we want, want to write, make four cups of juice to eight cups of water. And we want to relate that to six cups of juice. So we need to find our multiplier here. So our multiplier, we're going to find by dividing these two numbers. So six divided by four. Okay, using your calculator, again, we need a calculator to this. We need, we end up with times by 1.5. So if we're timesing one by 1.5, we're going to times the other by 1.5. And so we have 4 to 8. 8 times 1.5 is 12, or 6 to 12. So that proportion is the same. So 4 parts to 8 parts is twice as much water. is the same as 6 parts to 12, 12 parts is twice as much water. Okay. So what they've done here, we don't need to do this part here. Okay, this is optional, but this is another way we can do it. We can write 4 to 6, and we can divide by 2 and write it into lowest terms. So 4 to 6 becomes, we divide by 4. Oops, so in this case, we're going to divide by 4, aren't they? Okay, so we've, we're going to do divide by 4 okay, to get the 1. We're going to divide by 4 on the other side, and this makes our 4 to, uh, and I made a mistake here as well. This We started with 4 to 8. Our original proportion was 4 cups of juice to 8 cups of water. And to make that into this lower term proportion, we're going to make it 1 to 2. And we can see that in the numbers. We had twice as much water as we had juice. So once we have this 1 to 2 ratio, we can use a times by 6 to get the 6 cups of juice that we want. So 1 cup of juice, we convert it to 6 cups of juice. We're going to buy times by 6, so we end up with 12 cups of water. Okay, and that's what we had up here as well. So this strategy that I'm showing you, and we don't have to use this strategy, but it's perfectly okay to use our decimal multipliers here. But this is using what we call the unit rate. We're comparing everything to one. Okay, this is what we call the unit rate. So the final answer, whether regardless of how you do it, we need 12 cups of water. 